Hey everyone, it's Anthony, and I want to address one of the biggest misconceptions, one of the biggest myths that is rampant throughout the self-help world that is just mind-boggling to me, and that is that it takes about 21 days to break an existing habit or start a new one. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. I'm sure you've seen this before, this notion that it takes 21 days to start a habit. Because this number is everywhere. It is rampant online. Everywhere you turn, there's some kind of 21-day challenge, 21-day meditation challenge, or 21 days to a fitter body, or 21 days to remove your limiting beliefs. If you're on YouTube right now, just do a search for 21 Day Challenge. I'm sure you will find tons of videos. Now, I get it. This number sounds good. You know, it has a nice ring to it. 21 days, you know, three weeks. Who doesn't love that? And for one, this number is very marketable. 21 days, you know, feels good. It's a short enough time frame that makes us feel motivated, like, yeah, I could, I could accomplish that. And it's a long enough time frame where it sounds realistic, like it's a doable goal. But the truth is, it's a big myth. There is no validity to it. It's a purely a myth that was started by taking research way out of context. You see, back in the 1950s and 60s, there was an American plastic surgeon by the name of Dr. Maxwell Maltz, and he became really interested in developing ways on how to improve his patient's self-image. He would notice after his surgeries that he would perform that it would take about 21 days, more or less, for his patients to adapt and adjust and to take to the result from the plastic surgery. He took his findings and he published it in a book called Psycho-Cybernetic, which he combined with his own observation from his own life that he himself would take about 21 days to adjust to any new life routines. In the book, he writes, it requires a minimum of about 21 days for an old mental image to dissolve and a new one to gel. To no fault of his own, this number caught on, it became the magic number that the self-help world adopted. But there are some big problems with this 21-day number. Problem number one is that creating a habit, what you're doing, what you're after, is about creating permanent, lasting change. Essentially, you are creating a new identity. In James Clear's Atomic Habits, if you're familiar with it, you know that he talks about habit creation is essentially creating a new identity. It's about becoming someone new, and becoming someone new takes time. So it's a little absurd to think that simply by doing something new for three or four weeks, you're going to override any existing behaviors that have been on autopilot for many, many, many years. The second problem with this idea of 21 days is that modern research and modern studies doesn't really put a definitive number on how long it takes to get a habit to stick. From all the research I've looked into, it suggests that it could take anywhere from three weeks to nine months. So what does that mean? That basically confirms what we already know that not all habits are created equally. Not all goals are created equally. Meaning, if you wanted to start a habit of simply waking up every day and going for a walk in your town or neighborhood, yeah, you could probably pull that off and have that habit stick in three weeks. But if you wanted to start a meditation practice or start a new fitness routine, that's likely going to take more than three weeks. Another point that everyone is different, meaning, for the same habit that you and I do, it might take me three months for it to stick. It might take you two months for it to stick. Habit creation is a very personalized experience. So putting a hard number on it doesn't take into account personal context. 
another problem with 21 days is creating a habit is about learning something new so you can become someone new. So if you really want to understand how habits are formed, all you have to do is look how we as humans learn. Consider this idea that I learned from Dennis Waitley, where he says, we learn by observation, imitation, and repetition. We repeat a behavior until it is internalized like brushing our teeth or driving our cars. So think about it. Any habit that you currently have in your life has been internalized for many years of you learning it by imitating, observing it, and repeating it over and over again. So any new behavior or any new habit you're going to want to add to your life, you're going to have to repeat it over and over again until it's internalized. But remember, you are internalizing a new identity. But this isn't difficult. All this comes down to is simply making a mindset shift. Instead of thinking habit change, think identity change. Embrace the journey of not creating a new habit, but rather the journey of creating a new identity. And one of the biggest ways you can do that is to simply show up every day and get your damn reps in. Meaning, just do the damn thing. Take action every day on the thing you're looking to build into your life. Think in terms of small, bite-sized steps that you can take every day, even if it's just for 10 or 20 minutes. Imagine spreading that over a year's time, how much change will create in your life. But again, avoid putting a hard time frame on it. Just accept that it's going to take some time to truly develop and internalize lasting permanent change, identity change, because after all, that's what we are after when creating habits. Thank you for watching.